last winter I have used this on some of my plant indoor and I observed that they are doing very very well with the use of this uh, trifecta which is a product that I have purchased from Luke of MI Gardener and now I am going to see what will be the difference with this product compared to another product which is right over there. I'm not going to name that because I want to make sure that everything comes out fair but for now I'm testing well I've already tested this and I know that I have a very good result I'm going to add this on this half of the bed this uh, part of this bed here half of this and back there I'm using that other type of fertilizer and all throughout I'm going to be uh, spreading earthworm casting and my husband is gonna gather some more uh, compost and we're gonna add into this uh, soil really incorporate all of those good stuff in here and get it ready for my sweet potato slips so okay trifecta is uh, the first part there will be the nitrogen and the second part will be the uh, phosphorus and the third part which will be 12 part of it will be the potash now I know that uh, from my research, uh, sweet potato really responds to potash and so maybe that is sufficient but just to be on a safe side, I am going to add a little bit more of this uh, ashes here which my husband has collected whenever he burns some uh, hardwoods from our, around our land and we save the ashes. We're not, I do try to be careful when I apply anything. I don't put too much. I uh, try to put less than what is uh, uh, required. So, trifecta, earthworm casting on this side, and earthworm casting and that other type of fertilizer on that end part of this raised bed. Okay? So that end of the raised bed right there is treated with other type of nutrient necessary to grow my sweet potatoes. And this other half of this bed right here close to me, we are going to treat with trifecta. Okay. Um, we're going to measure it. <laughs> Sorry. So, I could always add some more uh, in about a week or two from now, but uh, okay, so we have that much trifecta. We're going to spread that on this end of the bed. Let me back up so I could get a picture of that bed. Okay, something else on that end, right there, trifecta on the other, on this end. And I'm going to mark, put a T on this end of the bed, just so I could know that I have treated this with trifecta from Luke of MI Gardener. Okay, we're going to start uh, mixing this soil real good, cover it. And let it rest until I'm ready to plant the sl potato slips in here. There's my uh, raised bed for my sweet potato slips. And as you can see, it's well watered. We got all of those necessary nutrients. And they should start breaking down before I start planting my sweet potato slips in here. So this bed is well prepped for sweet potatoes. And now we are putting the green covering that's to prevent the squirrel from coming in here planting some acorns and digging holes for whatever reason and it will also prevent the weeds from growing in here 
before we do some tidying up let me take a picture and show the viewers this growth explosion happening in my greenhouse it's very warm. it's not even developing any oh yes <laughs> I just discovered it. It's starting to develop a cauliflower inside, Daddy. Look at that. See that white stuff there? That's cauliflower. It's starting to form. Nice. And I'm always fascinated about how big the leaves are. wonder if they're edible. <laughs>